A marble is drawn from a, uh, at random from a bag that contains three white marbles, four green marbles, and one black marble. What is the probability that the marble drawn is a white? Okay, so we're looking for the probability of a white here. Um, well, what have we got here? First of all, we've got to figure out how many marbles there are total. Well, I've got three white, four green, and one black. Uh, that's eight marbles total. And I've got three white, so the probability is three out of eight. Actually, fairly straightforward. Uh, the probability of a white or a green, okay? So the probability of white or green. Now, at this point in time, we've gone through and, and discussed uh, what the or means here. This would be the probability of white plus the probability of green. Now, do I need to subtract, do I need to subtract the overlap between those two? And the answer is no. It is not possible for there to be a marble that's both white and green, at least not implied by this, this scenario here. So I'm just going to add those up. These two sets are mutually exclusive. Okay, again, we're only grabbing the one marble here. So there are three white, there are four green. So the probability of getting a, a white is three out of eight. The probability of getting a, a green is four out of eight. Altogether, that's seven out of eight. Okay, now the probability of not white is going to be, well, there's two ways of thinking about it. I don't even, I could do it like this. I could do one minus the probability of getting white because that's going to be the complement of getting the white there. However, I could also just go back to my scenario and count this out here. There are four green and one black. That's, that's five marbles, five out of eight that aren't white. Or you could go one minus three eighths, the probability of getting a white, and that would also get you five eighths. Either way, you're going to get to five eighths.